So now a few things about this uh, instrument. Um, it's uh, just made from a you know softwood base. It's quite has to be quite massive because over time the strings uh, cause it to twist and distort. So this, the frame is quite massive. Uh, music it's strung with electric guitar strings. Uh, these ones are wound. The rest are plain. Just using standard zither pins. There. This is a, a pickup from a, a six-string electric bass. It's like an EMG or something. I don't know what it is. Uh, the uh, the pin block here doesn't provide enough down bearing on the bridge, uh, so I've used this bar here to, to give it some down bearing. It really should be angled back that way to give proper down bearing on the bridge. Um, excuse me. Um, under here is a piezoelectric pickup, which didn't sound any good, so it's not being used. The sound was too thin using the piezoelectric pickup that was underneath the bridge. Uh, other little details uh, that are kind of interesting is the, uh, the pivot system is quite different than a traditional clavichord. Consists of um, a piece of music wire and that's it. And, and it goes into a, a solid um, wood uh, pivot there. And, um, and what that does is it reduces a rattle. So you're not hearing any rattle of the key which you would in a normal um, clavichord. So that, I thought it also gives it more sustain uh, because the, uh, the key is more solid and uh, the, the, the vibrations don't dissipate as quickly. Also the key is, is very long. It's uh, you know, longer than it needs to be for the mechanism, but it helps to give it more sustain. These keys are made of maple, which is you know, fairly dense and it, again, uh, the, the, it gives more sustain and I've put uh, lead uh, weights in the tail end there to give it more mass, which again helps with the sustain. Um, sustain's kind of an issue with a single strung clavichord uh, because they generally don't uh, sustain as long as a double strung clavichord. This is um, about the third electric, no, yeah, about the third or fourth electric clavichord that I made in the 90s, um, you know, just trying to improve on details from the earlier ones. 
Um, there's another YouTube clip that shows the previous one, which is black and not as, uh, the keys aren't as long. It's sort of more narrow instrument. Um, there we go.